So how do you get a Cyberman, a Dalek, a Hath, Scarecrow, an Angel, a Whisperman, and more, all in one place? The answer? Simple. You watch this stream, Doctor Who Legacy Live, with me, your host, the Adipose, Susan Lee, and our very, very special guest, John Davey. So sit back, relax, don't get too scared, because the monsters are coming. Well, greetings, everybody. Welcome to hello. the show. Um, I'm here with uh, Susan. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Thank you very much. And we are here. Very, very exciting to welcome our um, special guest, um, John Davey, in just a couple of minutes. Now, of course, we need to get a few ground rules in place. First of all, there will be no bad language in front of the megastar. So all of you guys watching, no bad words. Secondly, we must be very, very respectful, kind, and ask loads of cool questions to get, get him talking about all the awesome things he's done. So... You know the drill by now. If you do exclamation mark question and then space and then put your question after it, it'll pop up and I can put it on the screen and I can put it, put your question to our special guest, um, John Davey. So get doing those questions um, right now. If you'd like to see some of the stuff that John Davey has done and we will be talking, um, I'm sure we'll be talking about this more, um, you can head over to his website, which is johndavey.com um, slash acting. I've just put the list into the channel right there. Um, and you can see loads of the cool thing he's done, including a, a YouTube video, which basically shows you all the little things that he's been, and it's loads of them, um, which is cool. So get watching, get thinking, get questioning, and um, I'll put your questions to him um, in a couple of minutes when he joins us. How are you, Susan? She's dead. She's gone. We're alone. She's disappeared. Susan, hello? I don't know if she's here or not. Uh oh, says internet connection problem. Please don't be my internet connection. Can you guys still see me? Am I still here? I hope it's not my internet. Uh oh. It says hold on while I try and get the call back. Well, while she's doing that, I'll have another go. Sorry right. about that. Oh, she's back. Hello. I'm back. There? Yes. Oh, I, I don't know if that was my internet or yours. I hope it was yours. Uh, it was mine. It was totally mine. Phew. Long story. Everything's fine now. So, um, how are you guys? How, how's the game? What's the news? Uh, hang on one second. Uh, well, the news is uh, I'm I'm traveling right now, so I'm I'm um, not as well prepared as I usually am. <laughs> but all's good. Traveling. Uh, traveling, yes. What, as in you're on a train? <laughs> no, no, no. Traveling like I'm not at home. Oh, sort of I was going to say. I was going to say that's impressive. If you're if you're like live streaming from like you know the M25 or something. That would be. Be pretty cool, wouldn't it? <laughs> I can make this work. literally Doctor Who Legacy I, on tour, totally, like actually on tour. I can, I could make that work exactly. Um, well, we did the thing from Anglicon, that wasn't that far off, right? That's, that's, that's true, that is true. <laughs> um, but no, we um, we're, we're enjoying your lovely weather in, in the UK, and hey. uh, it's it's the, the sun has finally come out for the first time in what seems like a year. Well, I've been I've been in Italy, so I've been missing my lovely weather too. <laughs> How was Italy? Tell us how Italy was. It was it, it was it was very very cool. Lots of lots of lovely ice cream and playing music in some beautifully scenic locations up mountains and by lakes and um, all sorts. Of, I play the tuba. If you didn't know, you know. So uh, I did not know the tuba. I do. I, I, I play a little bit of everything, but my my orchestral instrument is is the tuba. So I was a. Uh, accompanying the school and uh, and having a lot of fun and but sadly of course i had to miss this show which was which is which is sad and i hope you guys haven't missed us too much but now i have returned um in fact tomorrow tubering is the reason why i'm not here tomorrow either because I'm, I'm playing in the in the school in the school concert for, with, with little, little kidlets i i think that i think the channel should suggest one of these times that you show up with your tuba for broadcast <laughs> and and and, and do, do some do some tubaing for us you can't do tuba Yes, Lee, don't you think? Did you know Addy does tuba? Oh, big, big thumbs up and smile from Lee on the tuba. What? You can't do a tuba by itself. The only thing that tuba can play by itself is the Jaws theme. <laughs> That's okay. We'll bring him a Jaws theme. <laughs> somewhat short. Right. <laughs> Let's crack on. Shall we, uh, shall we bring in our special guest? Yes, definitely. <laughs> okay, so we're bringing in, we're going to try and bring in John Davies. My cat sits by the door. Hopefully this will all work. 
all work fantastically and why we do so. I'm taking on the uh, expert level today. Uh, I'm going to try and take on two of them, assuming I managed to complete it. I've got Pulse, and then I've got... Um, I said I'd protect her and father's daughter, and we'll try and we'll, we'll see how, how far we can um, go. Um, hello, John, are you there? I am. Can you see me? I can't see you yet, but I can hear you. Ah, okay. Um, but welcome okay. to the show. It's fantastic to have you on. <laughs> yeah, Hi, John, you. welcome. Hi there. How are you doing? It's kind of yeah. the opposite of what, what we tested earlier, where you could see me and not... Um, and not uh, yeah, me, uh, and jo- me and John hey. had a wonderful kind of conversation in mime earlier. Um, which you go, they, oh. they, they can see me. Just imagine a kind of slightly thinner, more tanned version of me. <laughs> now, now I can see John. I can see video. Can you, can oh, you, can you uh, Addy? You have to accept yeah, it. I can't. Let me see if I can get that up on the screen and then I'll share the screen. Oh, and it <laughs> look, looks like I need to recrop this one. Okay. Just give me a second and I shall fix it. Um, so how did you, you, you guys have met before at Anglicon. Do you guys want to, while, while I'm sorting out the video here, do you want to, guys to want to tell me a little bit about that? Um, we did. Yeah. Go on, John. Yeah, no, you go on. <laughs> I'm just I'm we, we, eating a sandwich, actually. I've just um just made a pink sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> we uh yes, at, at, at Anglicon, um John was um was one of the the, the celebrity guests there, uh, along you know with Katie and and Sophie and 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 uh and Colin Baker. And uh, so we got to spend a great deal of time with them and it was so much fun. And they had to put up with our son for for what seemed like probably a year. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, you know, he still cries at night about Katie Manning. <laughs> uh, is that tears of joy? He's or? very lovely, Lauren, for her. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it is it a fantastic event, and um, great that you know you, you get to go to these places and meet new people, and um, yeah, no, it's um, absolutely amazing. Um, Have you done a lot of those kind of conven- conven- yeah. conventions, John? Um, I have, um, I think last year I probably did about 14, I believe, um, all ones ranging from the uh, London film Comic-Con, uh, the big event all the way down to the Dalek invasion of Red Ruth in Cornwall, um, which, uh, yeah, one extreme to the other, but, um, (laughs) yeah, it's all, it's all good fun. Every time I go to one of these events, I, I make new friends and, um, uh, you know, mutual sort of um, love for all things Doctor Who. So, so I've kind of oh, hang on. That's, that, that's my cat. I'm going to have to let him out in a minute. <laughs> oh God! Really? Look, I'm international. I'm interviewing an international megastar, and I've got a cat meowing. Hang on, I'm sorry. <clears throat> right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear about the Dalek invasion of Cornwall because that just sounds awesome. Yeah, it was. Uh, well, weirdly enough, I've just done a search on Facebook for Dalek and then clicked on photos. And I don't know whether it's just mine, but I actually come up as the actual first photograph on on a Facebook uh, search, which is me at with a Dalek at the um, Heartlands um, Visitor Centre in um, Red Ruth Cornwall. Well, that makes you the Dalek, really, doesn't it? You know, the, the quintessential. Yeah, I guess. Um, I guess it does. Either that, or there's 24 likes and 18. Eight comments, so maybe there's some sort of algorithm going on that um, <laughs> that, that that warrants it to go higher up the search list. So before before you came, I, I kind of plugged the show as the the only place you'll ever get to see a, a Cyberman, a Dalek, a Hath, a Scarecrow, and a and a Whisperman all in the, all in the same place. And a Jadoon. And a, and a, and a, and a Jadoon. But in, in your own words, would you like to tell us what you do on 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 Doctor Who, and, and of course what else you do? Because I've, I've been having a look at your website, and you do quite a lot of cool little filmy things. Yeah, um, well, I've uh, been really, really lucky that um, I've uh, been working on the show since Series 2. Um, and basically, I went for an open audition, uh, not knowing what it was, but there's about 50 guys there, all similar height and build, uh, auditioning, um, and the um, lovely choreographer for Doctor Who, Elsa Burke, uh, basically got us guys walking around with our eyes shut, doing spatial awareness stuff, <laughs> um, which was great fun. It's actually on the uh, Doctor Who uh, confidential um, uh, video, which um, I believe there's uh, the full versions on YouTube somewhere. <laughs> um, and at the end of the day, we basically got told if we got picked, it was to become the Cybermen in Doctor Who. Which was uh, which was amazing, and then we got told we're not allowed to tell anyone. So oh, it was, was great. 
Yeah. So, um, so yeah. So that was great, and they they shot all um, all the episodes. Uh, Rise of Cybermen, Age of Steel, Army of Ghosts, and Doomsday, all back to back, all in one block. Yeah. Um, which, um, yeah, had a great time. There's, I think it was about 35 days worth of um, shooting that we had all together. So um, you train, so you say you, you auditioned for that. So are you trained, you know, as a, as a classical actor or, or as a kind of a special that's effects right. that's specialist or that. a dancer? Or how, how did you get into that kind of role? Well, at the, at the time, I was working for a company called Collision Films in Bristol, um, and basically, uh, I was a, or still am, a, a camera operator, and I was shooting um, predominantly stop motion uh, animation uh, for music videos. Mm-hmm. Um, but between jobs, there's lots of spare time. So basically I just joined up with a, with a background agency, background artist agency. And I just thought, well, most of the stuff I shoot is, um, you know, miniatures, uh, animation, and it'd be great that I can actually get paid to sit on a set of a big drama and look and see how they loot, uh, light and shoot stuff. Um, so yeah, so it was kind of win-win. And then obviously when I got the gig as the side men, that was just awesome. Uh, and then after that, I just thought, wow, well, that's one off the bucket list, but more and more monsters came back and basically, <laughs> and you were the right uh, height it, for all wasn't, it was a kind of baptism of fire really doing, doing those, um, doing those cyber men because the, the costumes probably weighed about four stone. Wow. Um, and, um, they were, they look absolutely amazing, and I think the that added weight actually added to the whole movement and them appearing that they do well. Um, but it was um, it was a workout. At the end of each day, all the guys really knew that they worked, you know, pretty hard for it. Are you one of uh, the Are you one of the dancing Cybermen? Isn't there like a, a, a relatively famous clip of the Cybermen dancing across a park or something like that? Is that, is that yeah. One of the no, that well, that was a sort of. Uh, there's a, that's a, to be honest, very off-brand, and I don't think a side minute or any Doctor Who monster has actually been seen doing that. I think that was for children in need or something like that. Uh, <laughs> that quite, just, about, quite just about justifies the uh, the, the uh, breaking the fourth wall. Yeah, yeah, but, but no, that definitely wasn't me. <laughs> uh, it's kind of it was an unwritten rule that the guys uh, basically, you know, agreed on that when our Cyber helmets go on because they take them off between takes. When the helmets go on, we stay in character. Yeah. Uh, um, much to the sort of uh, annoyment of most of the crew that they're Probably trying to nearby crew members trying to delete them, that kind of stuff. Yeah, they, they're trying to they're trying to communicate with us as humans, but we just thought as soon as the faces go on, we are Cybermen. So, uh, so it was it was good fun. Not, not uh, Brando method acting to <laughs> Rudy Brown. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but then after that, the you know they basically got the most of the same guys back again because obviously we knew what to expect uh, and hopefully they were impressed with uh, with you know the levels of what we were able to do um and uh, yeah and then i i've been lucky enough that i've not had a proper job so um you know whether my, my other work commitments sort of slot in around with doing monster stuff on doctor who and i've been in over 30 episodes uh, up to date. Um, does that make you the most, other than the Doctors and Companions, does that make you the most appeared person in the modern Doctor Who? Well, no. Obviously, I, I think, uh, obviously, Matt Smith and David Tennant probably got more more episodes uh, behind them. Paul Casey, who was the, the, the monster leader, he's probably got, uh, he's probably got more as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, I'll have to. I'll have to work it out. In, uh, in fact, I, I believe, including series nine, which I can't really talk about too much in series nine, but I, I have appeared in various episodes in series nine. Uh, I believe I've been in more episodes than Colin Baker, so, um, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm taking them off one at a time. <laughs> Even Colin Baker didn't appear in all of Colin Baker's episodes, so you know. So that <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know where the Star Trek episode uh, counts uh, with Colin Baker in, but. Um, not so sure obviously, obviously we can't talk about series nine. We wouldn't want to because of, of, of spoilers and things like that. But can, can, if I just ask you a very vague question about it, I mean, are you, um, are you excited about this series? Is, is this going to be a good series? Uh, I believe so. Um, it's quite disjointed because we only see a very small portion of the actual episode. <laughs> so we come in, we do our scene, trying to figure out 
exactly what's happening. Uh, but some sometimes there is one real downside. You know, there's a million and one upsides, but there is one downside. When I come to watch the episode, I do know vaguely what's going to happen. So, unfortunately, any episode that I'm in is always you know, I, I'm my own spoiler basically. So uh, <laughs> I, I can't be, I can't be uh, surprised too much because I vaguely know what's happening. Were you a fan of the show before you ended up working on, I'm assuming so, cause you seem very, very knowledgeable about it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, um, I grew up, my first memories were of, uh, Tom Baker. I believe earliest memories or the, or the vivid memories were kind of, um, you know, the hand of fear, um, the the rats in in uh, talons um albeit what i remember of the rats when i was a young kid compared to now me watching clips of it now were two two very different things but um uh i, I know when you watch it now you go oh my god there's a man in a suit but uh, back then when <laughs> i was quite when i was quite young uh, you know um I, I didn't really kind of pick up on that so so yeah then obviously i kind of watched uh you know started watching peter's episodes and then you know i was kind of i kind of got to an age where i was about to sort of leave school and then all of a sudden you go through that stage in your life where all of a sudden you want to grow old very quickly and leave all the all the things as you did as a child behind or some of them <laughs> um so i kind of you know oh, you know you yeah, yeah, I kind of drifted away and wanted to, you know, grow up and do sensible things. And, you know, and then all of a sudden you're like, well, hang on, this this isn't much fun, really. So um, uh, so when it when it did reboot, it was, um, yeah, it was great. I just started uh, sort of uh, reliving um, all the exciting uh, all the ex- exciting things that, that the show brought as a child, um, you know, to my uh, to my adult self. Now, like I said at the beginning of the show, dear viewers, um, John Davey has a website, which is johndavey.com. And uh, if you go to johndavey.com slash acting, you can see all of the cool things um, that he has done. And there's a YouTube video, which I was watching uh, earlier today, where you, I assume you, you edited this together, which basically has a highlights of all of your, well, not all of your, all of your clips, but the vast majority of your clips, which I've just pasted into the, um, in, into, into the channel there. Do you have a... Uh, you beat me too. I was just going to copy and paste into the message. But yeah, no, it, it was um, it was kind of a labour of love because I, I started uh, about 18 months, two years ago, uh, going to, uh, to comms. And, uh, you know, I didn't really know that much about them because I haven't actually really been to many as a fan. Um, uh, and then basically, you know, people were asking me, oh, so what episodes have you been in? And I kind of scooted over some of them because I was just trying to remember them. So, uh, I kind of, then, um, there was, there's a website that actually lists every single person in every single episode. I think it's called mentalist.co.uk or mentalist, however you pronounce it. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's got even every single last background artist has actually got listed, uh, on that website. Um, so I then, sort of spent the day going through and seeing all the ones that I, I was in. Um, and then I thought, well, it'd be really cool if I could actually get um, a video. So I basically bought all the DVD box sets and then spent about a week going through them all, uh, taking all the clips of um, everything that I've been in. Um, I'm going, am I the angel on the left or the angel on the right? Or did you, did you know which one was you? <laughs> uh, I can, I can, I can remember that uh, voyage of the damned. In fact, the scene where you've got um, uh, Dave and then two, uh, two of the heavenly hosts either side. Um, in fact, I can, if I just flick over to my desktop for a second, I can make the screen go crazy, but I believe that's the, the clip you're talking uh-huh. about right there. That is exactly it. Um, so I was on the right in all of those shots, and uh, that right, stage right, uh, um, stage right, stage right. So camera left, yeah. yeah. Um, and the other guy is a guy called Adam uh, Adam Sweet, who um, who has done lots of uh, monster stuff as well. Um, so. So yeah, so it's been it's been quite a mad ride. So so yeah, so basically, I went through the DVDs got all the scenes I was in. I thought, great, I'll make a showreel. And then the showreel was 
about 50 minutes long. So Whoa. I thought, well, I need to sort of chop it down. So now I've managed to pretty much got around about 10 seconds per episode. Um, but it's, it's a great little, um, it's a great little talking point, especially when we went to uh, Seattle for Anglicon, um, they played the video before I came on stage. Yeah. So all of a sudden it gave the people the, you know, like, Oh, he was the headless Cyberman in the Pandora episode and <laughs> so, so forth and so forth. So it, it, you know, it gave them a, gave them a flavor of a sort of everything that I'd done in, in four minutes, which you, is, you, uh, you, which you, is quite in a way you've kind of ruined Doctor Who for me now, because like, because because you are obviously quite a lot of monsters, but you're also an extra quite a few times as well, aren't you? Or like you know, person on a bus or a, or a random soldier. So you, you know, from now on, I'm always going to be John spotting. You know, you know. Yeah. So I've never seen it before. I'm like, there, there's John Davy walking past. He's the guy with the dog. <laughs> Interestingly <laughs> enough, um, I'm on the world's greatest TV mistakes, the uh, the program that Robert Robert right. Webb makes. Yeah. Uh, and it's on about once a month, and I keep on getting loads of abuse every time it's on. But there's actually a clip, and it's based. I think it's from army of ghosts or doomsday and, and Billy Piper's on the bus and the bus pulls up and she's eating a bag of chips. Mm-hmm. And when we shot it, I walk on the bus and actually sit behind her. Then when they did the, in, uh, the interior shot, it just looked odd because I was directly behind her in shot. So they got me to sit one row back and to the left. <laughs> uh, and at the time, you know, obviously being a camera operator, I was like, well, hang on a minute. The previous shot it shows me sitting somewhere else. And they're like, no, 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 that's fine. That's fine. You know, no one will ever notice that. <laughs> Except <laughs> not with Doctor Who fans will notice that. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, unfortunately, um, you know, every time it comes on, I just get uh, lots of, um, you know, abuse saying, you know, I'm the, the world's worst background artist pretty much. <laughs> Uh, in um, fact, I'm actually just sending you a little clip of the video. I, it, it is 18 megabytes. I'm not too sure if it's too big or not. But um, uh, but yeah, so yeah, occasionally you see me as a human. Uh, I was in the Sultaran Stratagen. I was one of the um, uh, the Atmos workers in the corridor that the two uh, soldiers come in. Um, I probably have the world's greatest line that I deliver. Uh, the doors open and I say, it's open. Oh, that is a good line. Oh, uh, it's just uh, Oscar worthy. Um, you you and rehearsed that if you don't. <laughs> in fact, um, funny enough, I had to go through the lines. The, the first one was this area is out of bounds. And then they basically said, oh, can you do it but with slightly less of a Bristolian accent? So uh, <laughs> I had to enunciate a little bit more. You uh, yes, now you made it end up. <laughs> Um, and then uh, most recently, um, Death in Heaven, uh, I was a unit soldier and um, there's, uh, yeah, so I hear, I hear loads and the, the Wales online uh, newspaper got a really, really nice photograph of me uh, holding um, Peter Capaldi's uh, arm. It's, I think it's a cover photo on my website. So, um, so yeah, it's great great having my face seen because a lot of the time I'm in a mask and I tell people and they're like, yeah, right. How do I know that's you? So <laughs> it's, it's nice to be seen occasionally. And, uh, Susan, you still with us? Oh, she's gone. Susan Lee. I think she wanted you to pick your favorite Ood, but she's, she's for, for a giveaway that we want to do, but she seems to have oh. fallen off. Pick, pick my favorite Ood. Well, we've got, um, we, we have, um, in in the game, we've got ouds of various various different colours, and I think she wanted you to kind of choose one for, for us to give away to the masses. But she seems to have disappeared for a second. I'm sure she'll, I'm sure she'll be back. Ah, uh, uh, cool. At some point, well, is it okay? If we take some questions from the, from the, yeah, from the crowd. Yeah, yeah. Um. So, small blue monkey says, John is is the Doctor Who villains monopoly set just you, 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 and you. <laughs> Me, 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 me. <laughs> um, uh, I haven't actually seen the Monopoly set. Uh, to be honest, that'd be that'd be great fun. Um, pretty much, pretty much, most of the monsters I played, except for the very tall ones, the very small ones, and the very ladylike ones. So, um, I will tell you what, I could actually, I could actually go through them very, very quickly. I've got a list of everything that I've been in. Yeah. So, uh, Cyberman. Uh, the ghost in uh, Army of Ghosts, um, the uh, the Billy on the bus uh, episode, 
uh, Heavenly Host from The Voyage of Damned. Uh, I was a drinker in Partners in Crime, but I can't for the life of me remember even doing that. But apparently it's... Um, What's a drinker? It, it, there was a scene in a pub, I think. Maybe oh, I was... So literally so, a, dr- a drinker? Yeah, a, a drinker in a pub. So was he drunk? Uh, yeah, too drunk. I couldn't remember. Um, <laughs> dude and... <laughs> dude, dude, and again. <laughs> Uden Naturalude from Planet of the Ude, uh, Atmos Worker, Sontar and Stratagem, uh, one of the half from the Doctor's Daughter, um, During His End, Stolen Earth, I was a Jadoon, uh, The Next Doctor, Christmas Episode, uh, Cyberman, End of, t- end of Time, Ood, um, that was in the cave, that was Wookiee Hole Caves, and a half, which was in the uh, the bar scene um, at the end, uh, A Winder, in the beast below, victory of the Daleks. Right, so this victory of the Daleks was my first Dalek encounter. So uh, up to now, the Daleks have been played by um, uh, Nick Pegg and Barnaby Edwards, uh, Dan Barron, a couple of other people. Uh, obviously, in victory of the Daleks, there were the new Dalek paradigm, so they needed more Daleks. So uh, a few of the uh, old cyber guys did it. So I was the orange Dalek, which is there. From Victory of the Daleks. Um, That's red, surely. Is it red or... Well, yeah, no, it is. I don't think they did a big uh, big orange one, but uh, <laughs> unfortunately, unfortunately uh, red, the drone will have to do. We'll, we'll, I'll, I'll change the tint on the picture, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> but maybe, maybe um, just get out of the old Games Workshop paint, you know. <laughs> can you hear me now, by the way? Oh, hello, oh, you're she's back. Hello. Hello. I don't know what was going on there. Um, um, Quickly go through it. Goalkeeper... Uh, from the lodger, um, the it, Pandora got opened. Meant to miss I was just, past you. Uh, no, I was on his team, so I got very little uh, airtime um, <laughs> because obviously the, the all the goals are going one way. Um, Pandora got opened. <laughs> I was a Dalek, headless Cyberman, and a, a guy in a spacesuit um, uh, with uh, the scene with uh, Simon. Fisher back at the beginning with uh, Alex Kingston. Um, Good Man Goes to War, Cyber Leader, Jadoon and Cleric, uh, Marine, Unit Soldier, Vigil, Whisper Men, More Daleks, More Daleks, Unit Soldier, Tunnel Droid in Deep Breath, uh, one of the choppy droids, Um, Death in Heaven, Unit Soldier, and Last Christmas, one of the Dream Crab Sleeper people. uh, Oh, right, cool. Actually, out. You weren't one of the ones when they didn't have the crab on, but the one of the crabbed up versions. Yeah, yeah. Basically, they were they were dream crab doubles for the uh, the lead actors, and then right at the end, when all the dream crabs come along before before uh, Santa turns up, uh, I was one of the, the many ones there. So um, yeah, so that that's the full list of it, and um, yeah, it's all fun and games. So have you got any more more questions there? I kind of went a bit off. Oh, you know, I've, got, I've got loads and loads of questions, but as, as Susan, <laughs> Susan, do you want to talk Ood for a second? Yeah, hang on, let me ask a quick question, which is, so um, we tend to, to, to give codes away on the show for things in the game, John. Um, so we were thinking it'd be fitting to give away a code um, to the people on the channel for one of the Ood in the game. Um, but we have a whole pack of Ood, because, <laughs> you know, more fun to have more Ood's. So, um, but I need to know which one we should give away. So the red, the yellow, the green, the blue, or the black, basically, which of those is your favorite color? Um, oh, let me have a think. Um, so is, is that is it their costume that's changed, or are they just uh, it's the color and it's their 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 ability changes based on which one they which one um which one you pick. If you see the screen behind me, there's different color, now, different color gems, and so the the color of the ood means they're ask me which their abilities are, and I'm not gonna mention which. Ah, uh, right, okay. Uh, yes, I would say oh, I'll go for red. All right, a power red color. <laughs> Susan will turn that into a lovely code then for us. Thank you very much. And then the other thing we're gonna the other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do an Addy Gold giveaway uh, at some point um, during the show, and that'll be for the full pack of the five boots. Fantastic. So those of you watching, you, you check your gold using the usual exclamation mark Addy Gold, and we'll do an Addy Gold giveaway probably in about fifteen minutes or so. So check that. Out. But I, but I should say, John, if you're willing, that the tradition now set by Nicholas Briggs is he actually read the code out as a Jadoon, and being as though you've played a Jadoon, perhaps you'd oblige us. <laughs> um, Nick Briggs will probably, probably, uh, you know, probably, probably give me a punch for stealing his um, <laughs> his livelihood. 
<laughs> it, it's quite funny actually. I've, I have I have come across some toys where I've listened to the voices and I've gone hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so did you have a you've had Nick on the show as well? I mean, we did, yeah. Um, because we added uh, Charlotte Pollard to the game uh, a little while back, so he came on the night before that that patch went live to to sort of um, you know to talk about Big Finish and to give away the first code for Charlotte Pollard and stuff. And we're planning to do more with him. In fact, we're about to add the Jadoon to the game, and he's uh, actually already told me he'll come back on. Uh, you know, just just to, to sort of celebrate that and talk again. Cool. Yeah, such a nice guy. <laughs> um. So, yeah, no, in fact, I, the, the first time I kind of, uh, well, obviously I met Nick on the set when we were doing all the Cybermen stuff, but um, five years ago there was a show called Doctor Who Live, uh, which toured, and um, Nick was in the show. He was playing Winston Churchill, uh, a winder, and doing the live voice for the, uh, for the Daleks. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so I got to spend two months with him, which was, uh, which is great fun. Cause obviously, as you know, he's, uh, yeah, he's very entertaining. He is. He is. Yeah. Uh, we've, we've got <laughs> lots of questions to ask you here, but, um, some of them are okay. all kind of like things like what's your favorite this, what's your favorite that. So how about we do a kind of like a quick fire section and you just kind of spit out the first thing that kind of pops in your head as we kind of go through them, preferably not the food you just ate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me know when you swallowed and I'll, I'll fire a load at you. Cool. He's good. All good. Okay, here we go. Henoir says, "What is what has been your favourite costume to wear?" Um, probably the headless Cyberman uh, from the Pandorica Opens episode. That was just um, really, really cool. Um, on my website, I think I've got a little, um, little sort of mashup picture of how it was done. It's basically a green hood over the head and over the arm, and then I got to walk around the corner and. Uh, and uh, with the magic of television, I I had no head. So um, yeah, that that was probably uh, that was probably the most fun. The traditional question from Snow Joke: Which doctor is your favourite? <sighs> the same person, I, you know. The, I, I can't <laughs> good, answer. good answer. Good answer. <laughs> okay, a slight, slight variation from the question from Dare to Smile: Which doctor slash companion has been the nicest or sl- nicest or most fun in real life? Um, oh, well, probably nice. This is a bit leading. Let's say most fun. Uh, <laughs> I think I, I was always amazed uh, with Matt's energy. Um, his, you know, basically he kept up the energy of his character, the Doctor, all day long. Really? Um, so you know, it, it wasn't literally like switch on, switch off. He was, he was like a million miles an hour constantly. <laughs> um, which was uh, which was great fun because you know literally he's just up all the time and it's uh, it's amazing but um, but you know they're all great but uh, what I, I really really enjoyed um, being on set with Peter because he's um, he's kind of brought something quite new uh, on set and especially when we're filming in public and you know like everybody has seen you know between takes he'll just go and sign autographs and have pictures taken and you know command the fans as such so um that's been yeah that's been fantastic to see do you um uh hang on trying to look at trying to get the, ne- the next question here uh grednak says uh what of course which is your favorite monster that you've played um oh, i don't know well here you go oh, let me vary the question then what's your favorite monster you are yet to play is, is, there, is there something anything on your bucket list yeah. Uh, well, the, obviously, being Daleks and Cybermen are probably the two kind of major ones. But a monster that the you know because they're bringing back old monsters and uh, having new ones as well. But one one memory from a child, a really really vivid memory, would be um, with the sea devils coming out of the water. Um, so if if they could ever bring a monster back, um, that would be, you know, really, really cool. That was a John Pertley one, I think, wasn't it? Um, see them? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Um, what was the most... I'm not too sure about the health and safety of submerging us under water, though, and then coming out. <laughs> okay, yeah. just wait. The camera's not quite ready. Wait for it, wait for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Matt Stickman says, what was the most uncomfortable monster costume you've been in so far? 
Um, well, all, every costume has its um, has its challenges. The the Cybermen was the heaviest one, so it was, it was four stone in weight. So walking around with an extra four stone of body weight all day, you know, really, really kept you in kind of... That's just me after lunch. Quite a physical condition. Um, the Obviously, the, <laughs> the huge advantage with the Dalek is you're actually sat down on the inside of it. So, you know, you do get to sit down. The only um, disadvantage is that generally they would leave you in there a lot longer than most other costumes. Um, I can remember in uh, Victory of the Daleks, um, I think we ended up being left in there for three hours because they were running behind, so they couldn't really afford to take all the heads off of the the Daleks. So uh, that did get a bit hot. Um, Yeah, basically we decided just to take our clothes off. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> to cool down. So, so, so during during a lot of that scenes, there's a lot of um, a lot of guys just sat there in their pants, which was quite Daleks running around. <laughs> That's going to change watching it. <laughs> <laughs> I did, I did in front of Katie Manning, and she's like, "Oh, don't mention naked and Dalek in the same conversation." So, <laughs> um, Labradite asked boxes or brief. She asks that to everyone that comes on. So, I guess tradition states that we have to. <laughs> oh, boxes. Boxes. Um, other than the one I just asked you, in all of the interviews you've ever given, or and which is the weirdest question you've ever been asked? Any questions Probably that influenced you or made you go really? Um, um, I don't know. Um, that's probably the weirdest question. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's, that, that's that's weird. That's like that's like her meta question. That one is. Um, which outfit took the longest time to put on? I mean, it sounds like so far a lot of the costumes you've mentioned have been, you know, costumes you kind of climb inside of. Have you ever done like the whole prosthetics thing or like, you know, face makeup type of costume? Yeah, there's um, the Whisper Men uh, from the Name of the Doctor episode. Yeah. Um, that was a full prosthetic, basically because we had to open our mouths. Mm-hmm. So... Oh, uh, in later, okay. No, no. So, so basically we had a, a, a bold cap put on even though I'm bold, but you need a bold cap. Uh, and <laughs> why then, you, why would they? Give you, why? <laughs> well, basically, it's, it's, it, you just need a base to paint onto. So a lot of the other guys ha- had hair, so you just have a bold cap anyway. Um, and then the uh, you basically had like a um, an eyebrow and uh, cheekbone, uh, chin and lip prosthetic stuck to our face. Um, then, uh, basically everything was painted and then shaded. And then the final part was a white stocking pulled over our face. Um, the stocking was then cut and then glued onto our lips. Um, and that took about three hours. So it was four o'clock in the morning, uh, that we started and then Stop we would, somewhere. yeah. So then we'd normally get out about half eight at night. Uh, it'd take about half an hour to kind of peel it off our faces. So, so yeah, that, that took the longest time. Uh, it wasn't, it wasn't actually that uncomfortable, but just, you know, wearing something that restricts your vision for 15 hours a day, um, can be quite tiring. What, and this is going to sound like a really basic question, but like, what if you've got an itchy face? Like, what if you need to scratch? I mean, can you not like touch your face for the whole day or is it not that bad? No, you, you can touch it, but because the outer layer is a stocking, um, you know, we were banned from eating any messy food at lunch because obviously it was what <laughs> that which man appears to be covered in pizza. <laughs> yeah, it would have, it would have ruined the whole effect. So, um, uh, so yeah, basically it was a lot of soup through a straw and dropping chips into our mouths. Uh, but um, yeah, as for our face itching, you could you could kind of do do this with the with the prosthetic. I guess the only thing that, that was a major one was the um, the stocking actually squished our noses. So pretty much had a squish nose like that for uh, 15 hours a day, which oh, um, God. at the end of the it's day... A little bit Voldemort. The, oh, yeah. At the end of the day, it's a kind of, you know, a little bit, uh, a little bit bruised. Well, for all of you lucky viewers, so this code is for everybody, we're going to give you all, uh, courtesy of Tiny Rubber Games and Susan, a, a red ood. Um, which is John's favorite, and the code is there on the screen. So we're gonna, I'll put that code up, and you guys can go and put it in. Because this code will expire in a couple of hours. So go and put it in right now, and we'll go. We'll skip to commo- commercial, and then come back with just a few more questions and uh, a giveaway before we finish. Uh, so your code 
uh, is on, on the board. I mean, John, John, would you would you mind doing a, a wonderful uh, uh, you know voice for us, or, or do we have to attempt, or do we have to get Susan to do the Jadoon again because it was quite painful last oh, time? Oh no, no, it's terrible. You don't want to hear me do that. <laughs> uh, I could, yeah, I could do it. I don't know whether it'll sound like a Jadoon or someone who's been smoking cigars all their life. But uh, <laughs> so, do you want me to read out, read out the number then? Oh, please. Uh, nine, Any voice you like. Nine six seven six two. Six, six, four, 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 three, eight, four, seven, two, six. Awesome. <laughs> that wasn't awesome. <laughs> it was <very> nice. <laughs> oh, I will, yes. Oi, oi. <laughs> it probably sounded sound more like my dog, but. <laughs> um, so there you go, guys. So that's uh, as for all of you watching, all. Uh, all few hundred of you. So if you want to go and stick that into your game right now, that's going to expire in a few hours and I'll post that into the channel as well. And uh, we're going to go to commercial. We'll be back in a couple of minutes and uh, we'll put more of your questions to John. So again, exclamation mark question and stick your question on or I'll put my favorites up on the screen uh, to him. We will see you guys in 120. Okay, going back live. Okay, guys, welcome back. We are still chatting with um, John Davey and uh, Susan. Susan, of course, from Tiny Rebel Games, and John Davey, who has basically been all of the enemies of your worst nightmares um, in, in, in Doctor Who, and he has an incredible, <laughs> incredible, and incredible sandwiches. Um, so the code on the screen will be disappearing shortly. Um, it is 9676-2664-4438-4726, or as John would say, 9676-2664. Um, and that is for a, a red oud <laughs> and I believe a black fragment as well. Thank you very much. There's lots of people in the chat there saying thank you. Um, but we're going to open up our giveaway. Now, if you are missing any of your ouds, then this is um, the giveaway um, for you, as um, you will be, cap uh, you will have your chance to win the full set of Ood. And this is an Addy Gold giveaway, so you need to make sure um, that uh, you check your gold before you enter. And I need to just check my bot commands before I get it horribly wrong. I recently, um, so this is to you, Susan. I recently moved Addy Bot from my computer to um, uh, a, a computer over in America. Now, now I need to control it remotely, so I'm always paranoid. I'm going to type the wrong, wrong thing in and flood the flood him off again. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
So, um, John, you said that you'd been today. You have been literally packing, um, packing Daleks. Would you like, could you tell us a bit more about that? <laughs> yes. Well, um, um, recently, a couple of months ago in the UK, there was a, a tour called the Doctor Who Symphonic Spectacular, which was kind of similar to Doctor Who at the Proms, but a bit more of an expanded show. Um, and uh, I've been to Australia and New Zealand earlier on in the year, and also I went last year as well. So, uh, so yeah, it's a fantastic show. They've got the full, a full orchestra, a uh, full choir, uh, playing the music for Doctor Who, and then they've got big screens uh, showing VT footage of different episodes. Uh, and um, Peter Davison was hosting the show, uh, which is fantastic. Got to, you know, spend a lot of time with him, which was really nice. Um, so in the show, um, I play the Jadoon captain and one of the Daleks on stage. Um, but uh, basically when we go abroad, uh, they have to audition 15 people out there to be the other monsters in the show. So Elsa, the choreographer basically has to find these people, uh, within a couple of days, um, and I'm basically there just sort of giving her a hand. Um, the expert uh, just doing, Hey guys, I've gone with the universe before. So, you know, listen to me. Yeah. Um, so, um, so they're now doing the show, uh, in October in New York. Um, so it's basically, a wonderful town. Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, so they're basically just preparing the um, the costumes and there was a few little touch-ups of paint and stuff and just checking everything's working fine with the Daleks. So I've been over there packing the Daleks up and uh, they'll be shipping their way to New York soon for the um, Symphonic Spectacular uh, in New York, which, uh, which yeah, well, should, be, uh, should be fantastic. And if anyone, well... Obviously, the UK tour is gone, but if anyone's got an opportunity to, to see it, and I'm sure they'll tour it again, uh, definitely go and see it, because listening to a, a live orchestra playing the music for Doctor Who is, is incredible. Really, really good. Mm. Do you okay. ever have to do any, like, kind of stunts in your costume? This is a question from Skip the Zip. I mean, or is it more kind of walking around? I mean, have you ever been kind of blown up or shot? Or <laughs> um, Well, normally they do uh, get a stuntman if it... If it basically you know may endanger life if uh, if you're not a stunt performer so for example with the cybermen um in uh rise of the cybermen basically they kind of kick through the windows and come into the room that was actually uh, a stunt man doing it um i'm just having a quick look to see if there is any mildly Stunty things. No, it, I think the you know falling over is probably the uh, extent of uh, you know <laughs> what, what what we can actually do. But but you know sometimes actually just wearing the suit and being in the suit itself all day long is is you know something not to um, be you know taken lightly really. Because if um, if you're if you're kind of not used to that you know amount of pressure and also um, restricted breathing as well um you know it, it can it, it, you know it can take its toll really so the giveaway is now open it's going to be open for about five minutes um as usual you enter the giveaway by doing exclamation mark raffle ticket and then the number of tickets you want to spend you can see people above me here are already entering bag by kevin just put in 350 tickets and you're bidding for a full set of oud so whether you've got one two or you're, you're missing the lot you know this will this will complete your collection uh, only one set that we're giving away tonight um so so bid um on that um if you would like to win a chance of a copy and that's we're going to stop that in 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 five minutes now before we go john of course on, on as i can see as we can see on your website you're like you don't just do doctor who i can see that you've you've done some adverts you've done a lot of kind of stop motion stuff i mean obviously you said you were cameraman by trades so you've done a lot of that kind of stuff um do you want to just give a, just tell us a few little kind of highlights of other little things you've been involved with or things you enjoy doing yeah well um uh, as, as I said, I spent eight years um, shooting music videos, so that was uh, that was fantastic. What's the, uh, what's the like, which which of them might we have heard of, or which are the biggest what big, the biggest names you've been involved with? Or uh, Radiohead was one. So at the, at the time, obviously, that was huge, uh, and especially they spend a lot of money on their uh, um, adverts and, and make them just look fantastic. Um, but also the Scissor Sisters, uh, the Killers, the Bees. 
Um, kind of the list goes on and on, really. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, uh, yeah. So, so most of the most of the videos involved stop motion animation. So that's kind of where I kind of had an attitude for picking up doing movement, I guess. Yeah. Um, because when you when you break down um, movement to a animation, you know, you, you scrutinize everything. So I think that's kind of uh, where my ability, I guess, for doing movement um, comes from. But, um, but yeah, so I'm, you know, a freelance photographer and a cameraman and um, I don't know, every, anything and everything, really. <laughs> um, so if you guys are interested in seeing some more of John's work, then head over to johndavy.com and there's loads of links to his YouTube channel there as well, which has got tons of the stuff he's been involved with, some of the commercials he's made, some of the music videos. Um, there's loads and loads of stuff there. Um, Susan, have you got any other bits and bobs? We're kind, of, we're kind of seven minutes away now from the end of the show. Is there any other kind of like Doctor Who legacy-ish news you'd like to um, talk about before we wrap up? No, I mean, we're, you know, massively uh, working our way through um, finishing up 3 point. Know, which you know will go live next month which we've talked at length about um so a lot of its final preparations for for that and um i did um i did mention the newsletter this week that well a few things that we're for the most part on vacation this week yeah, and I mean, so really things are gonna be a bit quiet i didn't uh, you did holiday i thought you i am was i am i know I know we left. We, we only took one laptop with us and uh, it's, it's exciting. You can tell I'm taking a vacation and I'm on Twitch, but um, <laughs> this is, this was the, the exception to the rule. Um, but it just means that like support stuff will be a little bit slower than usual this week. Um, and uh, doing it. yeah, yeah, exactly. We, um, but we're, we've been invited to, to wizard world in Chicago, which um, I'm going to be at in August talking, we're doing a panel, um, and and giveaways there and stuff, so that's going to be really fun. And we've got a big promotion coming up with Hot Topic and Titan Comics next month, so lots of cool things happening. Well, thank you so much for making us the the exception to your holiday rule. We very much appreciate you being here. Ha. <laughs> and so I haven't talked too much. I've had, like I said, a weird connection of cutting in and cutting out, so it's made it hard to have a conversation. But you just can't get a word in edgeways with me, I guess, you know, I <laughs> know. <laughs> um. <coughs> and I just want to say, John, thank you for, for coming back on the show, even after the craziness of Anglicon's show. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was quite funny because it, I didn't even really, um, really know what was going on. And then, because of the time you, know, you, you, you didn't know what was going on. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah. Yeah. No, I no one, no one would tell Adam that he's late. We'd be surprised. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, no, that's, yeah, no, that was uh, that was great fun and spending time with with Colin, Kate, and Sophie was 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 great. It was, yeah, yeah. Kate, really. Katie told me she has not ruled out coming back on and and doing a proper conversation on Twitch. <laughs> oh, blimey! Okay, cool. That's, I may have to convince. That should be amazing. <laughs> this this yeah. one made make more sense to you. You got you than me. It's a, I don't know if this is to you, to Susan or John. It says, "Big hello from Dan and Wendy. We had a great time on the duck tour with you." Oh right, yeah. Is that, that to you? Was, yeah, that <laughs> was fun. Uh, hello, hello, Dan and Wendy. The the duck is the um, amphibious vehicle um, oh, that they have one. in Seattle. The, the yellow, the the, the, the it's, it drives and it swims. That one. That's right. Yeah. So um, um, we we were it was great because um, we basically saw the inside of a hotel for three days. But before we went, um, the people at Anglicon were kind enough to. Uh, to take us uh, to the EMP Museum, see the sci-fi exhibition there, um, and go on um, go on the duck tour. So, um, and uh, obviously Dan and Wendy were there at Anglicon, um, um, you know, helping us um, throughout the uh, throughout the weekend. So. Uh, yeah, so that, yeah, that was that was fantastic. Um, I think there's some pictures <laughs> on my Facebook page actually somewhere of the uh, of the nonsense that we got up to uh, on the duck tour. But uh, no, that was great. The, uh, yeah, the giveaway's closing in literally sixty seconds, so this is your last chance to bid for a full set of Ood normal rules. I mean, you need to be following the channel, or the bot won't pick you. Exclamation mark raffle ticket space, and then the number of tickets. Um, you want um, Doctor Who Legacy? The person oh, I know, the game I know. says, "Did you have you ever worked on the Sarah Jane Adventures or Torchwood or any other you know related show?" Yes, um, I d- did a few little bits on Torchwood. There was the um, ooh, what was it? Children of Children of Earth was that? Oh, I loved it. That's the be- I think the that's Torchwood's finest hour. 
There was, um, I had a little speaking line in that as well. I was a soldier that walking uh, through a sports hall with all the body bags in the sports hall. And uh, I turn around to Eve Miles and I say um, 13, 14. But if you haven't listened to it, it's not my voice. Because what happens is, is they, instead of having to mic me up and it just takes too long, they, they ADR it, put additional dialogue in there. And it's normally the editor, he'll just record his voice. So... Um, so I thought, great, I get a line, and then and then they replace it with someone else's. <laughs> oh, no. Or is my big West Country? You're always going 13, 14. <laughs> I, before I forget to mention, next week's show, which will be back on Thursday, like it usually is, um, uh, Lee and I are going to fo- are going to, to be cu- Skyping in live from Urban Tap along with Small Blue Monkey and Henoir and a whole slew of people. I think at least a half dozen people are coming all the way to Cardiff just to, to hang out and, and have some beers at our family's pub. Are you ba- you're doing live from the pub. Is that what you're saying? The, the stream is live from the pub. At the pub. <laughs> live from the pub at 6 30. Yes. <laughs> so if anyone else. Classier and classier. Absolutely. You are, you are ex- absolutely invited. Uh, the Kutch room we have booked at Urban Tap. So um, 6 30 onwards. Uh, I'm very much looking forward to it. Cool. cool. Okay. So, so yes, Monkeys. John, if you're, if you're if you're in Cardiff, John, you are absolutely welcome. If you're okay, if I'm not Cardiff. working, I'll I'll um I'll definitely pop in. That'd be great. Yes, yeah, so I don't know if you've been. It's a great bar. Um, so oh, no. um, good, good drinks. Well, oh, what was it called again? Sorry. It's called Urban Tap. Um, it's Urban. Uh, owned by the Tiny Rebel Brewery, which is which is the brewery our family owns alongside Tiny Rebel Games. <laughs> <laughs> you don't you, you have all sides covered. Games, beer. <laughs> I think Small Monkey is the one organising that. So if there's anyone else watching that is considering is, going, yes. do speak to Monkey because he'll give you the details about where people are staying and when they're staying and all, and yes. all that. And I know the next day they're go- they're 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 going to be going. Yeah, they'll, they'll be doing. I think the, the, the like Cardiff uh, experience the... as well, so they can actually mm-hmm. the Cardiff experience. Yeah, the Doctor yes. experience. Sorry. Yes. Okay. Well, let's let's get this uh, giveaway done. So there's the, the giveaway closed and we need to pick our winner. Um, good luck to everybody. And um, tonight's winner of the whole Ood pack is, oh, he says putting in the wrong command. It's Ken Williams. Congratulations. Ken. Oh, congrats, Ken. You the man. You are the man. Congratulations. Um, so Susan, if you could uh, send the code when you have created it. I will do it right now, actually. Ken Williams, 84. Um, John, thank you so much for joining us this evening. It doesn't feel like an hour, but it has flown past. <laughs> that has been <laughs> thank fantastic. You, yeah, thanks, thanks for having me on here. And um, yeah, no, it's been, uh, it's been, uh, yeah, it's been great. And so, yeah, so Series 9, from what I've seen, it looks absolutely amazing and fantastic. So um, I, I can't wait to watch it myself. So um, absolutely, absolutely. And, and now oh, and we'll, in we'll fact, eagle and eye in looking fact. for you in, in all the places. Um, guys in the chat, if we could get a million thank yous flying past the John, that would be great. So we can get if we can get that zooming out the top of my head, that would be perfect. Sorry, Susan. <laughs> oh, I have to not forget to say that that John's been so kind as to get us uh, a, a mug shot so that we can actually uh, look at getting his face on um, one of the units, soldier, maybe the unit commander or something oh, in so- the game uh, <laughs> some, very soon. Uh, uh, wasn't he actually a unit soldier, not a unit commander? That's another. Uh, yeah, we have, to, we have to we have to clarify that and figure out exactly which character should go on. Uh, I think that's a bigger thank you coming from me to, to get my face. Uh, in. I haven't, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't been an action figure as a human being, so this is kind of the closest thing. Uh, <laughs> I'm oh, the really? Excited they, about they haven't put me in the computer. They haven't put me in the computer game yet. You know, you're, you're one up on me there. I, I've done this show every week. <laughs> <laughs> I remember uh, when, when we added Osgood. When we added Osgood, Ingrid Oliver, she tweeted about how like excited she was about being in a video game. And, and uh, Danny Pink as well, Samuel Anderson. Cool. Uh, Telsey says, thanks, John. You were great. Of Dust and Ashes says, fantastic to have you here, John. Looking forward to season nine. Um, there's loads of people saying, sweet, awesome. Thank you. Oh, yay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a million, John. Says <laughs> yeah, he says, fireball. It'll be awesome to see John as one of the characters. And... You get um, you get to see my face as well in series nine. Oh, do uh, well, we, you know what you're yeah. looking now? You know awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it'll, probably, it'll end up on the cutting new floor now. I've said that, but you know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's the end of our show. Thank you, Susan. Thank you, John. Thank you for everyone Thank you, who's everyone. watching. Um, obviously, the show will be going up on YouTube um, as soon as I can get the the edit there. So, do, if you want to you want to see it again, or if any of your friends you, you know missed it, do link them to them. Do link them to it there, where you can find your. Oh, and there's a headless John. That's a mate. Did you break yeah. the head off another Cyberman? Be honest. Yeah. Hang on. I've got to try. Let's see if I can line this up. Uh, there you go. <laughs> 
But awesome. Fantastic. <laughs> you, need, you need the green arm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And that's the end of the show. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I'll probably be back in about half an hour with a little bit of Hearthstone, sneaky Hearthstone before bed. Otherwise, um, I think Hughes is on late tonight. And then tomorrow, what have we got? Th- Thursday. Now it's Thursday, so that's no one. Then Friday's Macapaca. And then goodness knows for the weekend. But there's loads of stuff going on, on the channel to do pop in um, when you can. Thank you, John. Thank you, Susan. It's been cool. great. Thank you. Thank you. You have truly Bye. been fantastic. And you know what? Yes. So was I. Good night, everyone. Good night. Bye.